Spray back again. I'm gonna tag video today, Mr. BJ Ka. Mr. BJ Ka. Still don't know how to say your name right, man, but I'm gonna say Mr. BJ Ka. There's a link down below uh, to the original video, and it is the controller tag. Basically, you have to say your two favorite controllers and why, and your two least favorite controllers and why. Um, he had examples of the controllers and whatnot. Um, I'm not gonna have that, so. No, but I think we'll be okay. I think I have one example here. Well, let's start with my least favorite. Um, my least favorite controller of all time is the Nintendo 64 controller. I'm not a huge fan of the system itself either, but um, it's just not a good controller. There's no good way to hold it. The analog stick on it breaks easily. Um, it's just not very good. It's, there's not, you know, maybe a couple good things about it, but. Most things about that controller stink pretty bad, and I, like I said, I'm not a big fan of the N64 anyway, so um, there you go. There's the my least favorite. Uh, another really bad controller, let me think. I, I like most controllers. I'm trying to think of another controller I don't, um, that I don't really care for. Um, I don't know. I, I really don't have another another least favorite. I'm trying to think here what else I, you know, what other controllers I really, I really dislike, and there isn't. You know, a lot of people dislike the ColecoVision controller. I like it. I think it could be a little bit better. Um, same thing with the 7800 controller. I like it. I think it could be a little bit better. But I really like the joystick controls compared to the D-pad, to be honest with you. Now, for my two favorite controllers. Um, now, the first one I'm going to say is, is my second favorite. Um, it would be the three-button Genesis controller. And... That's a great controller as long as you're playing the right games with it. You know, the older Genesis games play great on the three button controller. The buttons are nice and large. The controller fits the hand nice. It's a little bit bigger. I, I love the controller. Obviously, for fighting games and whatnot, it is a horrible controller, but if you're playing the correct games with it, that's the best controller, or the second best controller in my mind. Uh, like I said, it fits the hand. The buttons are nice and big. It just has a great feel to it, and they seem to last forever. So I love that controller. My favorite controller, it's actually the only one I have an example of, the DualShock. Um, for the PlayStation 3, the DualShock 3. It has the perfect amount of buttons. You know, I would never add another button to this. At the same time, I'd never take a button away. It fits in the hand perfectly. The analogs work amazing for um, first-person shooters. Um, the triggers are good. And I, I like these buttons here. I don't think the PS2 had the buttons that have a little more play in them like that. And that reminds me of the GameCube controller, um, which had the buttons that, um, that Mr. BJ kind of didn't like. But I love those buttons because that gives you a little bit of range on how you know how hard you want to push it down or or whatnot. You know, it gives you a little a little range in motion. So this is the best controller ever made by far. Nothing even really touches it as for um, how good a controller is. So, you know. I hope Sony never really changes this design. It's it's perfect. It is absolutely perfect. So that's my take video. I, maybe I'll take a couple of people on this. I wasn't going to, but I'll take uh, I'll take a couple people. I will take Sandem Todd because uh, he's my uh, good friend on here, and I always tag him. So you're tagged, buddy. If you want to do it, do it. If you don't, I understand. But um, I'm going to tag you, and we are working on a little project for you too, Adam. So it might be a couple of days, but um, I think you'll be pretty impressed when we're done. But I'll leave that at that. Check out Adam's channel in the future to see see what I'm talking about. And then I'm tagging 8-Bit Goomba because I have to tag him every time, and it's my, my duty uh, to the United States of America to tag 8-Bit Goomba. And let me think, who else do I want to tag? Um, um, how about I tag for real fan for life? I, I believe that's your screen name. It's a, it's a gentleman named Jay, and I, um, see him every Friday night in blog TV. I, I go to this radio show in there, which, which I'm also going to hit on in another video, but, um, I know you're a video game fan. If you want to do the tag, that would be sweet. If you don't, I totally understand. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll throw him into it. You guys check him out. If you haven't checked them out yet, which you probably haven't, I'll put um, all these guys' links down below. Alright, thanks a lot, you guys. See you later.